A shooting club is at the centre of a corruption probe into ex-Premier of New South Wales Gladys Berejiklian, whose secret relationship with a former Wagga Wagga MP has landed her before the New South Wales Independent Commission Against Corruption. The ICAC has said it is exploring three main lines of inquiry. The ICAC has said it will scrutinise two Wagga Wagga projects where Berejiklian could have had a hand in securing funding from the public purse. Office of Sports Director Michael Tui said he doesn't think proper processes were followed when the Australian Clay Target Association was awarded a grant of $5.5 million in December 2016. Berejiklian, who at the time was Treasurer and Chair of the Cabinet's powerful Expenditure Review Committee, pushed for the funding bid to be accelerated. Why are we pushing a grant, an allocation of funds, through to a local member based on such scant and inadequate information that didn't meet the New South Wales government's own standards and policies to someone who was a personal relationship with the Treasurer. Tui said he absolutely would have acted differently if he knew of the two politicians' relationship and that the government shouldn't treat ourselves as an ATM and give money to whomever. The ICAC is investigating whether Berejiklian suspected Maguire's behaviour was unethical and failed to report him. Berejiklian has said that when she sacked Maguire from his role of parliamentary secretary in July 2018, she did not think the MP was corrupt. Did you at that point in time suspect that Mr Maguire may have engaged in corrupt conduct? No. The ICAC is also questioning whether Berejiklian allowed or encouraged Maguire's behaviour. An intercepted phone call between the pair was played before the commission last year, where upon being told about a business deal Mr Maguire tried to make, Berejiklian said, I don't need to know about that bit.